for the food chain. Rock with a rat tail. King sanitation. Covered at the trap mail. The rap and a black man. I think I made it in the game. It's a rat tail. Never made a Hey guys, what's going on? Timpus HD here, back with another Photoshop tutorial. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a clean, like, gaming banner. Um, I'll put a PSD download in the link in the description below if you guys want to download it. But yeah, um, it's really easy. You guys will be able to do it. So let's just get into it. Um, so first of all, you can choose whatever colour you want for the background, but I'm just going to choose like a dark purple type colour oh yeah, new layer so there you've got your background simple stuff and then add a new layer and what you want to do is change it to white and just add a light at the top and then one here and one there then lower the opacity um, and then once you've done that, it's like a comic styled background that I've got, but um, you can find it, you can find whatever you want, but I've just got this, found it on the internet, just put that as your background, you can shrink it down if you want, and then change it to no, just keep it on normal and then lower the opacity and then change the hue and saturation by holding control and U or command and U and then bring down the saturation all the way and then you ch change the opacity again make it as so that looks good around 7% 10% whatever you want and then drag it underneath the lighting so then once you've done that, make a new layer above the wallpaper thing and go to like a dark purple again and then just add like spots in random places like so and then bring down the opacity to around 70%. It's just a little difference, nothing much. And then once you've done that, add a new layer again and you want to add like a streak of light so just get like because mine's purple I'm going to use pink if it's like if you've got a yellow no a dark orange background use a yellow so you just want a lighter colour than the background really so once you've done that just get it and go across the bottom like so and then change the the lights too, which one was it? Um, I think it's color dodge. One second guys. I think yeah it's color dodge. Then bring down the opacity of it to Yeah that looks pretty good. 30% is so a decent. So once you've done that, uh, just check and see if you missed anything. Now, once you've done that, go to the uh, rectangle tool, go down to polygon, and then make sure it's on three sides because you're making a triangle. And then change it to white. And then rasterize it. And then place it in the middle. But I'm going to do this again. Change it to white. Rasterize. And put it right in the middle. You can make it bigger if you want. Do whatever you want. Boom. And then change it to overlay. And then once you've done that, go to the effects, drop shadow, then change your distance to zero and then increase the spread and the size and then change it to overlay and then if you want you can bring down the opacity depends and then once you've done that go to the fill and then bring that down a bit to around 30 percent that's good and then bring it underneath all the like effects and stuff 
but not not below the wallpaper. So once you've done that, add a new layer, and then go to white and add spots of like light. Like so and you can change that to overlay as well, and then bring down the opacity. So now we can add text. So text I'll be using is called long shot. Um, you can get it on dafont.com but I'm just going to put your name change it to long shot there it is long shot and in fact make it all capitals and then go to gradient can use whatever colour you want, you don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you guys how to make some cool text. Um, you can add a drop shadow if you want, whatever you want to do. Inner glow. So yeah, your, and I'm going to put name next to it, because you guys will be able to download this uh, PSD. So, duplicate that. And then I've got some layer styles that, that I've got. If you guys want to know how to have this layer style, I'll just show you guys. Just pause the video, I'm going to go over each one. So yeah, you guys can just pause the video when I'm on each one. So yeah, that's the layer style for this. I'll just move it across a tiny bit. So that's the name, and then I'm just going to add a cool effect to the side of it, just like so, I think this will look pretty cool, and then fill the path, you can use whatever you want, but I'm going to use this low style that I've just used just there, and then I'm going to add another one, I'm going to just duplicate it. Horizontal flip vertical. Put it there. But well, I'm not gonna have a layer style on it. I'm just gonna use the one for the your text. So yeah. There we go, that's the your name part. And then if you want you can just group it all together and then resize it a bit. And then above this, I'm going to put official channel off. But I'm going to change the font to Unisans. Let's put that there. And then we'll just put below it the social media stay connected just making a clean gaming banner um, that's fine and look at the Twitter icon And then for the Twitter icon, I'm just going to use the same to match the colour scheme thing. That looks good. Maybe make it a bit small. In fact, no, do this. Stay connected. Put the stay connected in the middle. And then the Twitter icon below it. And then below that, put at 
I'll just put at your name because you guys are going to be downloading this if you want it. So that looks good so far. Very clean. And I like. And then add a new layer. I'm just going to quickly do this. Make it black. And then go around the outside and make it a bit darker. Duplicate it and then flip horizontal. Let's put it over there. And then group them both and bring down the opacity a bit. So that looks really good so far. Very clean. Then once you've done that, quick effect. Go to white. I've got a brush pack out. Put the download link in the description if you want it. Just comment below if you want this pack. This is just some extra effects, you don't have to add this. But I'll just show you anyway. I think it looks pretty good. Change flow. I'm gonna change that to overlay. And then one last thing for the effects over the top of it. looks a bit crowded so I'm just gonna erase some of the parts that shouldn't be there and just change this to overlay again and then once you've done that go to the uh, shape toolbox and then go to rectangle and then just draw a rectangle and then rasterize it and put it on overlay and then go to the transformation thing and then hold control and then click on this one right here in fact just move it up a bit around there then hold control and grab this just move it along make sure it's accurate and then you've got that there you just want to get rid of this part here and make sure it's the same delete this off so then it's matching and you've got these two things right here if you want you can like rub out this and make it fade off whatever you want to do and then just put a little thing put the effects on it and go to inner glow change it to overlay and then drop shadow um, put the distance to 0 then spread to 8 and the size to 24 and then change it to overlay and bring down the opacity that looks good right so yeah and then you want to put that on the other side as well and then in this box you can oh wait duplicate it. Yeah in this box you can put like pictures or whatever you want. You can put anything in it. Just create clipping mask and it'll just mask it and you can put anything inside it. Just check if that's same. Move it down a bit. So you could put like cod pictures or something. Let's just let's just look. Um, oh, go back then. So we just get this. In fact, no, don't. That's bad quality. Uh, just let's just use it. So if you want to put pictures in there, just put it over the rectangle. So it's above the rectangle, as you can see there. Then click, right click it, create clipping mask. It'll have to be on normal, the rectangle, by the way, guys. But if you're not using it, then you'll have to put it on overlay, like so. But if you do want pictures over the top, change it back to normal, and then 
Boom, you've got it. I think you can change your this to... No. But yeah, it's whatever you want, guys. Whatever you want to do. So yeah, you can see it's created a clipping mouse. But yeah, if you don't want that, you can just put like subscribe or something like that inside that box. Whatever you guys want to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a quick, uh, clean banner. Anybody can do it. It's very easy. But yeah, um, can we hit 15 likes on this video? That'll be much appreciated. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this, just comment below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. But yeah, see you guys later.